what is the metaverse and more importantly what role do cryptocurrencies and blockchains play in that future of our digital reality that's the subject of this video and it's a question that i will try to answer in five minutes or less Hey everyone and welcome back. I am the part-time economist and you are watching the Crypto Whiteboard 101 series in which I attempt to answer your most important cryptocurrency questions in five minutes or less. So with that being said, let's jump right into it and discuss this concept of the metaverse. Now, the metaverse had actually been around for quite a while, this idea, but it really came to the forefront in October of 2021 when Facebook announced that it was rebranding to Meta, right? A lot of cryptocurrencies that were associated with metaverse projects went absolutely skyrocketing. People started wondering, what is the metaverse? And there were just a lot of questions. So at the basic level, Facebook says that the metaverse will feel like a hybrid of today's online social experiences, sometimes expanded into 3D or the physical world you can share experiences with other people when you can't be together and do things you couldn't do in the physical world so obviously there's a lot of speculation no one really knows hundred percent what this is gonna look like but I kind of have my own theory that I'd like to share with you and the best analogy I can give is think of all the different applications that you use now that you log into Facebook right Let's suppose I've got Candy Crush, I've got Bubble Witch, I've got some kind of uh, Farmville knockoff, right? I've got a lot of these different things that I can play. Now, what happens in one of these isn't necessarily related to another one, right? So I do really well in Candy Crush, I get some power-ups or whatever, I do well, but I do Bubble Witch those don't talk they don't translate to each other right what happens in one is distinct and separated from what happens in the other now let's suppose instead that we have the metaverse and the way that i like to think of the metaverse is imagine instead that you are a digital avatar you're a character and you're in a mall right we're going to call that mall the metaverse now each of these different stores and shops in the metaverse right you can go in there you can play a game so i go to one store i play candy crush i go to another one and i play bubble witch right in the past, those stores, instead of being inside of a mall, they would have been different stores that you had to get in your car, you had to drive to, right? Now they're all linked, they're interconnected, and we can kind of transfer those experiences between them. So whatever is in the metaverse, we can share, we can have those kind of shared experiences without losing them, right? Different games, different experiences, they're kind of all in this metaverse bubble, which for many people is gonna be pretty cool because it's not separated. They're having those experiences and they are shared. but what role do cryptocurrencies play well in my opinion cryptocurrencies kind of extend this and take this a step further so if we look at this article by gemini.com they're talking about crypto metaverses and yes they're still saying obviously they're immersive virtual worlds all of these things but the use of blockchain infrastructure enables them to tap into the wider crypto economy making virtual items exchangeable for real economic value beyond the confines of the metaverse and this is where they really stand out because if we're looking at traditional metaverses right it's kind of funny calling something traditional that's not even really launched yet but if we think of kind of big tech or legacy non-blockchain metaverses yeah it is awesome that i can transfer assets maybe or that i can share experiences between different parts of that metaverse but they're in that metaverse bubble they can't really get taken out right with cryptocurrency what we see you actually a lot of these um, metaverse projects they give you ownership of your assets through nfts so let's suppose i'm in the metaverse on you know facebook's metaverse i play bubble witch i get some gems i get some potions some stardust that's cool it's still trapped in the metaverse i can't sell that for cash i can't pull those potions out and trade them on a marketplace for someone else that wants them right they're still in that metaverse with crypto let's suppose that i'm playing splinterlands right and again not endorsing any game just using it as an example let's suppose i have some awesome cards i played with them i liked them and i'm like you know what splinterlands was cool but now i want to go play um axie infinity right i can pull those assets out of the game i can put them on a marketplace i can trade them for cryptocurrency right i can do i can pull value out of the metaverse and that's one thing that at least now doesn't really seem to be a priority for kind of these traditional metaverses so number one it gives us the ownership of those assets the ability to pull them out take that value beyond the metaverse number two tapping into the wider crypto economy this is something important as well because with crypto it's 
all of those benefits, right? It's permissionless, it's decentralized, right? Cryptocurrency markets open 24 seven, right? So not only do we have that ability to pull value out of the metaverse, but we have those benefits of crypto. We actually own our assets, all of these different things. So just kind of to wrap it up again the metaverse is things like that those are still something that's being worked on developed so whatever i say here isn't a promise it's not a complete guarantee of how things are going to go more my speculation and just trying to provide what i think um this could look like in the future and from the way i'm looking at it metaverses the general goal is to kind of link different decentral or different online experiences into a bubble into kind of some form of cohesiveness where you can share these experiences without losing them cryptocurrency and blockchains have the same goal but they're going to take that a step further right they're going to say not only can you share with inside the metaverse but you can take these metaverse experiences you can pull them out you can turn them more easily into real world value or transport that value maybe even to a different metaverse so that's my take i'd be more than delighted to know what you all think leave it down in the comments below thanks for watching i will see you next time and nothing is financial advice